All right, let's finish up this project that we have here of the little Civil War maid. Now, uh, oh, you most of the time the the uh, the little maids they they wore a uh, a sash around their head, in other words. And we're going to take the piece. And they, usually it was, a, it was sort of a bow type at top. So we're going to take and just sort of cut here and cut here and raise that up a little bit. Okay? And cut here because we're going to bring that, that headpiece down quite a bit. And then come from this side a little bit. And from this side. And you don't have to do this on the thing. I just thought it would be kind of nice. And raise that up like that, in other words. Sort of a tie uh, on the... Uh, place there. Now I'm going to cut here and cut here and then just sort of take this out of right in here in other words where it's sort of uh, and then let me get my uh, my v-tool And take my V-tool and just remove a little bit of the wood in here. Kind of bring that down like that, in other words. Where it's sort of a... Inside there. Now. I'm sorry, let me... Move this out of the way. Let's bring, I want to cut a little bit more right in there. And a little bit more right in there. And then we're going to bring this down, this area down. Right, let me cut this. See, it's sort of a, uh, I want to bring this down closer to the head now. Uh, it's not very noticeable until you actually begin the painting process. Uh, but we want to bring this down close to the head. There go. Just like that. There we go. Where it's sort of just... I want to cut a little part in there, a little part in there. And then kind of just come bring that down just a little bit. I'll have to uh, do the parts again. But we want to bring this part down close to the head just like that in other words where she's sort of wearing the um, 
Um, a um, wrap scarf uh, on her head in other words I'm sorry let me get it then there Kind of like that and it's really not too noticeable until you actually do the uh, do the painting on it bring that down just a little bit all right where it's closer to the head All right, just like that. There we are. Just like that. Okay. We're just about through with this little lady. And I wanted to make it... All right, now let's see. On the hands here, come down with the thumb. We're going to come forward. And I'm going to take just my knife right here and cut. Here you go. And the same thing over here. We're just going to have our hands at our side. In other words, we could be having a, we could put a broom in the hand. We could do a number of things to make it look uh, more realistic. But we're just going to do a simple right here, and then we just sort of draw the the other hands in here as we go with our V tool. hands kind of better shape there we go the same thing here Okay. Cut in here, separate those hands just a little bit. Now we want to come back to the back back here. We want to draw our little uh, from the apron coming down. And we can go ahead and just add a little uh, little thing like this, in other words. Okay, now let's come across with our knife. Little bow as we commonly say. You can also do this with a V-tool, but I'm doing it with a knife. here come along here
I'll use my V tool just in here, kind of remove that wood. Remove it in there. Actually, this comes up like this. And that comes up like that. And then it comes across just sort of like this. There we go. Then you come down here. Sort of make your mark. Separate that from it. Separate that. And then take your V tool and just sort of make some strands back here on what's hanging down, in other words. I'll clean that up later. This is a very old-timey type piece that we're doing here. It would not be a modern day piece as we possibly could say. But you have. And she's just about finished. On a piece like this, a lot of times it's, it's when you finally paint the piece that it really begins to take on its its flair because it looks as a rather uh, just an odd, not an odd piece, but an old piece in other words, is what I've tried to make it so. And you have um, your piece now that you have. And when you, when you, when you paint it, uh, then the different colors, the different way, it shows, uh, right now the wood is just white, so it's not really going to show um, very unique how the the carving's going to look, but once you get it painted, you get some color into it and stuff like that. It's kind of like watching black and white TV, you know. <laughs> Boy, when they brought color out, it was it was a different, whole different aspect. I mean, we we saw a whole different world when when we finally got color in the TVs. And it's the same thing when you just look at a white piece like that. It looks a little bit like it's it's odd, or there's not a lot of but when you, you color it, when you piece it, that's when it becomes. Okay, what I'm going to do, is to, I want to wet it. I wet it and as we look at it now I'm gonna clean it up a little bit and stuff like that and then we're gonna do the painting process of it but from the side I'm gonna bring this top down just a little bit more it needs to take just a little bit more off of the, the top there we go But there's our little Civil War maid, and like I said, when the painting when the painting uh, is done, this is done in an old style way, the way they used to carve. And uh, these are these I wanted to make it look like one of those old pieces that you was in a, a flea market or something. You would find it, in other words, and say, "Wow, that was carved." Uh, I wonder who carved that or whatever it is. But uh, I'll do a little cleaning up. But that is our little Civil War made that we're doing. I love classical pieces like this. I love, uh, I found some sometime, uh, classical pieces like this that you can find and just 
wonder, wow, well, who carved that? Or, or look at the, 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 the ways or the means. Actually, I got this out of E.J. Tannerman's book, The Pattern. In other words, that's a wonderful, he used to carve so many wonderful things. But that is our little Civil War maid that we've carved. And we'll, we'll get it painted and we'll show you how to paint it and everything like that. And I, I thank you for allowing me to, uh, I have to admit that this has almost taken me two and a half to three weeks to do. Because uh, I have to let my, my hands, uh, uh, when I carve for about 10 minutes, 20 minutes a day, uh, I have to let my hands rest for at least a day or more because uh, of the pain and, and the numbness that gets in my hands. So I have to let it. So I'm going to start doing videos, but I'm not going to be able to do a lot of them like I used to. And I'm just going to have to take my time. A lot of smaller stuff as we do it. So here's our little Civil War maid. God bless you now. Um, uh, we'll show you how to paint it. I'll work on cleaning it up. And... Uh, We'll be painted another day. Okay. God bless you now.